everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Storytime Online. My name is Laura, and we're going to get things started off today with our welcome song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And now it's time to do some moving and grooving, and we are going to do that with a song called Little Fish. So we're gonna put our hands together and we're gonna pretend that we are little fish swimming in the ocean, or in a lake, or in a pond, or maybe in an aquarium. So we're gonna have three different verses here. The first verse, we're singing about one little red fish. Are you ready? One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And for our second verse, we're going to sing about two little blue fish. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. And for our third and final verse, we're going to sing about three little green fish. Three little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> Great work, everyone. Now we're gonna come up out of whatever body of water we were swimming in, and we are going to zoom, zoom, zoom all the way to the moon. So in order to do that, we've got to brush our hands together, because that is how we're going to power up our rocket ships. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Whoa, look at how high up we went. We went all the way up to the moon and then we went all the way around it and came right back. Perfect, because that means we can zoom, zoom, zoom all the way up to the moon one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Awesome work, everyone. Now we're going to come back down to Earth again, and we are going to say hello to our first puppet friend of today. And... A little shy. Here he is. You've got a little turtle friend. He's going to help us with the puppet rhyme, My Turtle. This is my turtle. He lives in a shell. He likes his home very well. He pokes his head out when he wants to eat, and he pulls it back in when he wants to sleep. Come out, little turtle. <laughs> You're going to help us with this rhyme one more time, if that's all right. He says, yes. This is my turtle. He lives in a shell. He likes his home very well. He pokes his head out when he wants to eat and pulls it back in when he wants to sleep. Now we're going to let our turtle friend go and enjoy a little nap while we get ready to read our story. But before we get to our story... You got it. We've got to sing The More We Read Together. The more we read together, together, together. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. And the book we are reading today is called How Do Dinosaurs eat their food. Written by Jane Yolen and, and illustrated by Mark Teague. That is a very big dinosaur right there, let me tell you. We've got a peek at some of the other dinosaurs you just might find. But don't have very good table manners by the looks of it. Oh goodness. They say don't cry over spilled milk. He looks pretty happy that he's spilled his milk. 
<laughs> There's a little tiny dog that I think really wants some of this dinosaur's ice cream. How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he burp? Does he belch? Or make noises quite rude? Does he pick at his cereal, throw down his cup, hoping to make someone else pick it up? Does he fuss, does he fidget, or squirm in his chair? Does he flip his spaghetti high into the air? Does a dinosaur glare? How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he spit out his broccoli, partially chewed? Does he bubble his milk? Stick beans up his nose? Does he squeeze juicy oranges with his big toes? No, he says, please and thank you. He sits very still. He eats all before him with smiles and goodwill. He tries every new thing, at least one small bite. He makes no loud noises. That isn't polite. He never drops anything onto the floor, and after he's finished, he asks for some more. Eat up, eat up, little dinosaur. <laughs> so even huge dinosaurs still have impeccable table manners. Goodness, that is a look there of not having impeccable table manners. <laughs> that is one who hasn't yet learned proper ways to behave when you eat your food. All right, so what a wonderful story that was. But now it's time to warm up our hands and our fingers because we have a couple finger rhymes to do. Oh yeah. So our first finger rhyme today, oh, oh, after we stretch our fingers just a little more, is called Five Little Fingers. You see, we have to really work because we're gonna use all five of our fingers here. One little finger standing on its own. Two little fingers, now they're not alone. Three little fingers, happy as can be. Four little fingers walking down the street. Five little fingers, this one's a thumb. Wave goodbye, because now we're all done. Oh, we're not done quite yet. We are going to do this rhyme one more time. Warm up our fingers a little bit in between. All right. One little finger standing on its own. Two little fingers, now they're not alone. Three little fingers, happy as can be. Four little fingers, walking down the street. Five little fingers, this one's a thumb. Wave goodbye, because now we're all done. And now we're going to move on to a rhyme called Dig a Little Hole. So we are going to pretend that we are digging a hole for a little seed, which is gonna grow into a flower, and then it's gonna be blossom time. Oh yeah, all right. So we're going to dig a little hole, plant a little seed, pour a little water, pull a little weed. Up, 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 the green stems climb. Open wide, it's blossom time! Woohoo! All right, with spring coming up, Ooh, we're gonna get to see lots of beautiful flowers. Let's do this rhyme one more time. Dig a little hole, plant a little seed, pour a little water, and pull a little weed. Up, 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 Green stems climb. Open wide, it's blossom time. Woohoo! Blossom time. Great work, everyone. And how about we say hello to our next puppet friend? Or shall I say, puppet friends? We have two puppets helping us out with this little rhyme called Round About There. First of all, we have our little bunny friend. Hello, little bunny. Hello, everyone. But we also have a little kitty cat. 
It's nice to meet you, little kitty cat. It's nice to meet you all as well. All right. So this is called Round About There. Round about there sat a little hare. A cat came and chased him right about there. Now, you were just wanting to play with the little rabbit, weren't you? Wow. All right, let's see if we can do this again, not scare a little rabbit friend. Round about there sat a little hare. A cat came and chased him right about there. That's okay. You guys just want to be friends, don't you? Ah, oh, there we go. Cat just came on a little bit strong, didn't you, little kitty? All right. So they are going to go back to the puppet den and make way for two more puppets because it is time for our puppet story. And this week we are doing Little Penguin and the Lollipop, written and illustrated by Tog Bentley. So that means we've got to head to where most penguins live, and that is in the cold, cold Arctic at the South Pole. So speaking of penguins, where are our penguins who are going to be helping us with this story? Do you see any of the penguins? Oh, hello. Here's one of our penguin friends. Hello, everyone. And I think if memory serves me correctly, yes, you're right. We have one more person. One more penguin by the looks of it. All right. Are you two ready to help us with this story? Oh, yes. All right, this is Little Penguin and the Lollipop. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I really need your help. It's my friend, Kenneth. He's a little upset, and I think I know why. You see, I ate Kenneth's lollipop. It looked ever so delicious. I couldn't help myself. How was I supposed to know that it belonged to somebody else? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but let me give you some advice. Never take a lollipop from a penguin. It makes them very grumpy. I feel terrible about it, so I tried to make it up to Kenneth. I gave him a warm hug. I told him how delicious his razzle-dazzle lollipop was. I even wrote him an I'm sorry card. None of it worked. But now you're here, and I've got one more idea. And you are the perfect people to help. Just what do I do? How about this? Make a funny face and repeat after me. Razzle dazzle lollipop! Ready? One, two, three. Razzle dazzle lollipop! Well, that seemed to get his attention, but he's not smiling yet. Let's try again, even sillier. Make a funny face. Wave your flippers and yell even louder. Ready? One, two, three. Razzle dazzle lollipop! Arr, nothing is working. Let's try once more. Super goofy this time. Make the funniest face you can. And wave those flippers in the air. Jump up and down and really shout. Ready? One, two, three. Razzle dazzle lollipop! <gasps> Kenneth! How about this, Kenneth? Oh, I found, I found one! A razzle dazzle seaweed lollipop just for you! I'm glad you like it. It looked ever so delicious. It was just lying there waiting for me to pick it up. I don't know how it got there, but I'm sure that this lollipop doesn't belong to anyone. You two better hope that it doesn't belong to anyone or you're going to run into a very similar problem to the one that you just escaped. Oh, I think it's fine. All right, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let's go, Kenneth. All right. <laughs> Our two happy penguin friends are going to enjoy that razzle-dazzle razzle -dazzle lollipop. Oh, it's a bit of a tongue twister there. And we are going to leave the cold of the Arctic because we are going to have our own fun shaking some shakers. It's just like we warm up our fingers for our finger rhymes, we're going to warm up our shakers. 
for our shaker songs. So as always, you've got two fun shaker songs to do today. And our first one is called Eggs Together. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake them way up high, we shake them way down low, we shake them in the middle because it's fun to do. And it's so much fun to do, we are going to do that fun song one more time. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake them way up high, we shake them way down low, we shake them in the middle because it's fun to do. Let's keep that fun going with another fun shaker song called Shake It. One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, Shake it on the floor. Five, six, stir and mix. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Woo! All right, let's do that super fun song one more time. How does that sound? Perfect. One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, Four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, stir and mix. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Hello, goodbye everyone. Alas, that is going to be a wave goodbye today because we have come to the end of story time online for today which means it's time to sing our goodbye song. But it's only goodbye for now, because we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Until then, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye everyone.